YouTube, it's your girl Tick So Chic, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, hey friend, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. Also, give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you click the bell so that you're notified any and every time I upload new content. As you can see from the title, today we're going to be doing a lifestyle video. So, you know that I do fashion, I'm, I'm into the beauty, I like the, but I think I'm the most important part of me. Even though I love fashion, I love all this good stuff, I love motivating people. I love sharing my tips, sharing the things that I go through with other people. Today, I am going to be giving you tips on how to be consistent. Um, these are lifestyle tips that have worked for me and is working for me. So I kind of wanted to just share um, those tips with you. So I was getting my hair done. You know, I got my little mouth of braids. Shout out to Lady T Braids. I'm gonna go ahead and put her um, IG name. She's the bomb. She's out of Columbia, South Carolina. She did an amazing job with my knotless braids. So I'm gonna make sure I shout her out. So, Lady T Braids, make sure you get her Teresa. She did my braids. She's bomb, y'all. Check her out on Instagram and make sure you book that appointment on her style seat. Okay. I just had to do that little shout out right quick. Um, so today I wanted to give some tips on how I am consistent and just to kind of share with y'all because a lot of y'all asked, I wrote on my Instagram, you know, what are some things y'all want to see? And some of you said some motivation videos. And so I think that being consistent is one way to motivate people to stay on track, to stay on those goals, even when you don't feel like it. So I was getting my hair done, back to my story, because you know, there's always a story with you, okay? So I was getting my hair done. Uh, with Teresa, she was sitting there doing my braids and we were talking and all this good stuff and those of you who don't know me you know that I'm an educator I'm not teaching this year but I am a tutor so I tutor I do YouTube I work full-time nine to five so I do a lot of things I style on the side I just do a lot so while she was doing my hair she was like what? tell me how do you be consistent like how do you make time to do all this stuff so when we were talking about it, I was like, people need to know this, you know, because she was very interested on in knowing how I stay consistent. So I wanted to give you my seven tips on how I stay consistent. So we're going to jump straight into this video. The first one I have on my list, because I do have a list in front of me. First one I have on my list is create a habit or routine that's predicated upon that goal. Okay, what do you mean by that? So... I have a routine that I do every single morning. Sometimes I detour, sometimes I kind of switch it up a little bit, but the routine is the same. So I get up, I take a shower, I may drink some coffee because I'm not a coffee drinker, 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 if that makes sense. Um, so I don't want to like drink it too much and I have heard coffee stain your teeth. Baby, these are the set I got. So I got to take care of them, okay? So I don't drink coffee every single day. But I may drink some coffee. I may cook me some breakfast because I'm not a breakfast person either. But I know that, you know, like they say, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So I do try to do breakfast um, in the mornings. And then um, once I do that, I'll probably log on for work because I do work remote from home. And then I'll work. And while I'm working, whenever I have like that moment of free time, then I'll um, work on some other things. And even in the midst of me washing, doing my facial routine, breakfast. I always listen to motivational speaking videos while I'm doing all of these things. And so one of the people that I listen to that I really, really love in the morning for motivation, I listen to him every morning is Les Brown. And he's one of those motivational speakers that get you to thinking. Like sometimes you need that reminder. Sometimes when we get back to thinking about things, it's like, so, for tip number one, one of the things I do is I create a habit and I create a routine. And so, because I've been doing it for so long, and I didn't start this, y'all, until January, like, of 2021, because I kept saying I was going to do a YouTube channel. I kept saying I was going to do this, do that, and the third. And, you know, at the beginning of the year, we be on it. And it's still the beginning of the year. And we be on it. And then maybe maybe mid-third week, we be like, uh-uh, I ain't doing that. But this time, I'm really trying to stay consistent. So, I did create a habit and a routine. We gonna ride this thing out, baby. And if y'all gonna ride with me, you better start watching my videos. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you click that bell. Okay. Tip number two: schedule and plan. So for me, I'm a writer. Some of you may know I wrote a book, uh, so I write everything out. I love planners. I buy a planner every single year. Last year was the first time I actually wrote in my planner and wrote all the way through the year. 
So that was a good feeling to actually accomplish writing in my planner and like writing every single day because it kept me on track. So I did appreciate that. So um, for this tip too, make sure you schedule, you plan. So for me, when I'm doing my content um, for YouTube, I write out the week. And my goal right now, because I'm just starting, I tell myself, okay, two days a week. You go post two days a week. So I have um, my content out for that. So I started my YouTube journey on my birthday, January 18th. I started on my birthday of this year, of 2021. And so what I do is I write out my content. And as you see the check mark, that means I've already did that particular video. And that's how I stay consistent. And I check it out. Check it up every single time. So make sure y'all plan, schedule, do what you have to do to stay consistent, to be on track. And, and no, every day you're not going to feel like doing it. But when you know you met that goal for the day, you lit. You lit. Um, in my planner, I record the smallest things. For my birthday, I had a slumber party. All my friends came in. Um, we ordered onesies. We did all these things. And I wrote that in my planner. Like you have to record the smallest things. Record the smallest things. Um, tip number three, set a weekly goal. So for my YouTube, you have to see where you're going. So for me, I set a goal each week for YouTube. So I'll tell myself like right now, I'm at 294 subscribers. Mind you, I started January 18th. I'm at 294. So the goal for this week is 300. I have six more to go. So even though it's not a big goal, I've accomplished something for the week. And every single week that I have been setting these goals for numbers, like I'll have a goal. Like last week, I think my goal was like 280. I reached 280 before my deadline was for Sunday. So, uh, and I'm filming this video on Tuesday. So I met my goal and surpassed it. So now my next goal for the end of this week of Sunday um, is... 300 so I got six more to go so you don't have to be hard on yourself but when you see that these goals are completed you think you're doing something you be like mm -hmm. you know look at your girl hitting her goals and somebody about me on the side hating talking about no big goal. it's not but I accomplished something and you gotta celebrate those small wins tip number four forget your feelings forget your feelings um, my pastor always told me that um, feelings are terrible leaders. You can't go based off your feelings because you're going to lose every time. So if something doesn't go right or you don't meet that goal, so let's just say, you know, I have these goals set every week and I don't meet them. Now, instead of me getting in my feelings, because getting in my feelings is going to make me quit YouTube. Y'all ain't going to be seeing the more videos, okay? But because I ain't about to let these feelings get in my way, if I don't, because I'm going to say if, if I don't meet a particular goal that particular week, then it's now, now I have homework. What didn't you do this week that you did last week? What more can you do to make sure that you're hitting these goals? So making sure that you are not allowing your feelings to put you in a pit and to have you to stop when you've been going so far. Don't let your feelings get in the way. Brush it off. Shake it off. See what the problem is. And let's find that solution. Have an accountability partner. I think having that partner, having someone who you're relying on, someone that's going to push you, not your friend, that's going to be agreeing and yes man, everything you do. No, not them. Because we're talking about them. We're talking about the ones that's going to be like, friend, did you um did you make that video today? Because you told me yesterday you were going to make a video. And then when you hit them with that, child, girl, I know I was tired. I need for them to make you feel bad in a nice way. So it's got to be like, oh, I'm tired. I need your friend to be like, no, because see, that's not how you win. You, you being real lazy right now, friend. So I need you to go ahead and get that video. It's not too late. You can go ahead and get this video done because if you did yesterday, this is what we would have been today. So I need that friend that's going to tell me the truth and I need for you to give me solutions. So don't give me a, don't tell me I'm wrong and I, this is the problem, but you can't give me a solution. So... I need, both, I need both hands from you as a friend, as an accountability partner. So make sure that you, you have someone who's going to hold you accountable. Um, and like say both of y'all are doing YouTube. And let's say you were supposed to make a video today. They were supposed to make a video today. If you have that accountability partner, if you don't make your video but your friend did, 
and you see their wins and you ain't made one because you ain't do it, then that's gonna make you feel like oh, I gotta get on. I gotta get. That's gonna motivate you. It's not a, a bad competition. It's just motivation, and sometimes we need that motivation. Um, and so you definitely need a partner, a, a accountability partner, somebody that's gonna hold you accountable because they see the potential in you. They see your best you. They see the best teeth on sheep. You know what I'm saying? And they see where teeth is going. Which brings me to my last tip. And my last tip is set your focus on the end result. Think about that end result. Think about if you were to quit today. What's going to happen? If you, if you have a goal and you decide, I'm tired of this, I ain't doing this no more, and you quit today, that puts you back at square one. So all this thing you did, so let's say I started this YouTube in January, which I did, and I quit today because I'm just tired of doing videos, or it's too much work, then all this time I wasted. Think about the end result. Think about what happens if you keep going. Think about these YouTubers who are really big, like De'Aaron Ken, um, The Prince Family, who else? Um, Alyssa and um, Charles and Alyssa. Like these are some of the people I can just think off the top of my head who have millions of subscribers and they're consistent and look where they are because they decided to keep going. Building your Instagram, building your YouTube, building your business, whatever you're deciding to do is not going to be easy. But there has to be an end result in your head because you, you're doing it because you're thinking about that end result. So you have to keep that at the forefront of your head, at the forefront of your mind. Because as soon as you... um. Think about what's going on around you and you let them feelings get involved. You go quick. There's been plenty of times I wanted to sit here and be like, well, I still want to do you too. But then I'm thinking about the end result. I love what I do, so I'm going to keep going. Okay, so we're going to go back through those tips. Make sure you guys got that. The first one is we're going to create a habit or a routine. Something that you do every single day so that when you don't do it, it feels weird. It feels off. Step two, schedule and plan. Make sure you get that planner. Make sure you're jotting down those ideas. Make sure you're jotting down everything, even if it's small. Apply those small wins, anything. One client, one subscriber, one follower, that's a win. Step three, set a weekly goal. What is that goal for the week? Make it realistic. You cannot be over here, yeah, God is a big God and you know he can do the impossible. Well, come on, be realistic. Do something that you can meet so that you don't, you don't disappoint yourself at the same time. Step four, forget your feelings. Get your feelings out of this. This is about your career, your, your, your desires, your passions. You got to get on it. Have an accountability partner. You need somebody that's going to hold you accountable. You need somebody that's going to tell you, I need you to get on it. You slack it. You need that. And um, think about that end result. Think about where you are headed, where you're going. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you put that in the comments. If you have any um, comments that you want to share, any thoughts, any um, testimonials, make sure you put that in the comments below. And until next time, don't let the devil use your hand, your friend. I'm just saying, I'm Tisa Chic, and I'm signing off.